so much for your consideration of my application to become the manager. So let's get this interview underway. Uh, you're looking to sign as manager for Salford City. That is correct. So uh, we've we've got a we've got a few objectives here and a few sort of bit, bit of a list of things that we want to already run through with you. Um, would that be okay? Okay. So uh, if we start off the objectives of the uh, of the the first year that we're looking at uh, hiring you uh, is to gain promotion uh, through the league into you know League Two. Uh, is that something that you uh, that you would be considering? Uh, actually, I had something more in mind. Um, I think with uh, some proposed changes to the squad, with a few different uh, personnel inclusions in the uh, in the team, I think theoretically I could be looking at uh, trying to bring uh, the uh, the title of League Two to Salford City this season. I'm, I'm, I'm a favourite of quite a few of the players at the club already and uh, in theory I think with, like I said, with a few different personnel uh, I think I think we should be pushing towards that title. I mean it's all got saying we can we can push towards promotion but if we are looking at promotion I think the title's where you need to be looking at. Okay well uh, we are we are fully optimistic like like we said we are an up and coming team. We've uh, made it through the past couple of seasons unscathed. And so, uh, we're really looking to just push on and try our best. So, if you think you can achieve that, then uh, then fair enough. I won't hold that against you. Obviously, we will still um, we will still put it as part of uh, your your objectives this season. Obviously, if we don't don't get that top top spot, then um, you know I'm not going to hold it against you as long as we do well enough to uh, re reach the top of the league. Okay, so our, our second objective is to sign um, younger players. You know, got quite a few older players now at the club that have been with us uh, through the uh, the non-leagues, uh, through the conference. However, we are looking to you know rebrand and well, not really rebrand, but um, sort of reaching a few players around and try and sign young players that can really become you know top top quality footballers in the future. Is that something that we share? Yeah. Okay. We'd like you to reach the round of 32 in the FA Cup. Obviously, if that's only like one or two rounds into it, so uh, shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, we want you to play attacking football. Now, uh, it's, it's quite modern in this day and age to have, you know, full backs that get forward, as well as wingers that cut inside and get in on the goals, and strikers that are just there to uh, either link up all the play or to get in on the action. And so, uh, based upon this, we want you to play in one of our favoured formations, uh, which would be 4-3-3, any variation of that, 4-2-3-1, uh, which is a, uh, a formation with four at the back, two defensive midfielders, and then you've got like the three midfielders in um, your centre attacking midfielder, and your two wingers that can go forward a lot more, and then a lone striker. Or, if that's not your sort of cup of tea and biscuits, then uh, a 4 one 2 one 2 another one where you know there's, there's options, there's ranges that we can go with here, uh, with one defensive midfielder, your two wingers, uh, and then you've got like a trio up front in more of a in more of a triangle, or if you're looking at it in terms of midfield, it's more of a diamond with an attacking midfielder, and then two strikers beyond that. I think I think those formations specifically would really help us um, get to sort of the talent and get to get to the areas of uh, football that we want to see you know we want our fans to enjoy the football yeah i'm more than comfortable in playing with uh, many different formations including the 4-3-3 and the 4 2 3 one. i think they're probably my favorite do i don't mind setting up a tactic looking at a two a two strike formation either personally i do prefer to play with wingers uh with a lone striker but i know with a lot of talent coming through uh, we may we may have to accommodate more than one striker so whether that means uh, dropping them back to a more central attacking midfield position, or whether that means playing two strikers, I think both both need to be looked at. Um, yeah, so similar to what I said earlier, we are looking to get rid of the dead club of uh, 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 dead wood at the club. Um, but based upon this, we do want you to try 
let's say young British or English talent, uh, or if need to be, come to us and speak to us about options. Okay, so talking about sort of transfers and stuff like this, um, we, we have set you a budget and a wage uh, budget at the minute. Uh, the transfer budget itself is set at 2.2 million. That is sort of liquidated money that we found in the club um, based upon transfers and prize money and things like that from previous seasons. That I think is more than enough to sort of accommodate one or two players um, coming into the start of this season. Uh, how, how are you finding that? Perfect. Well, yes, more may come with uh, the selling of players. And how about a wage budget of 31,000 per week again may rise with different signings these budgets work perfectly for me um i've actually got a few different or i've got i've got a player in mind that i'm sure we can discuss at a later stage um, but yeah a budget of 2.2 is absolutely perfect for me um a wage budget in all honesty seems a little bit high if we do look to offload one or two players um as you've already uh, suggested I think that wage budget will rise, whereas the transfer budget may not. So a few adjustments there, we can we can surely make a, a, a number of key signings this season. Okay, so some key marquee signings may include. Uh, we've made a list of three players here that we're really looking into um, to try and bring to the club. Um, I don't know their availability as of yet. We haven't really spoke to the teams. It's just people that have been on our radar. Like I say, young sort of English or British talent. That can really that can really solidify our team, you know, young talent. Okay. So first player, Howard Belize or Bellis, currently contracted to Man City, um, to replace Pond at centre back. We have a player called Pond, he's, he's getting on a bit now, he's quite old. We're looking to offload him. So Howard Belize is English. He has a transfer value of about five hundred thousand, so a quarter of your budget. Uh, and only demands currently £600 per week in wages. Obviously, maybe we get them on loan with an object to uh, an, an, an object to try and sign them at the end of the season. Yes, okay. Oh, well, yeah. Well, similarly, we could try and bring him to the club depending on how much Man City demand. Obviously, Man City a big money club, so that is really be an issue with them. Next, another player to really replace Pond at centre-back is uh, a, a player called Collins. He currently plays for Stoke City. Um, you're an Irish lad, but uh, a much bigger transfer value of 800,000 and two 2,000 per week wages. So that would pretty much take up half of your half of your transfer budget. But again, wages aren't too much of an issue. We've got a 31,000 wage budget. If you want to come to me and, uh, and adjust them budgets ever so slightly, then I'm sure we can do. Got th um, and the last player. Although I did say we wanted to sign young British and English talent, there is an Argentinian that we um, that we are really, really looking at right now. He, uh, he's been on our radar for about about three to four months, and we're at the end of last season. We particularly look very interesting, uh, so we may be looking to bring him in at the start of this season. So this player is called Velasco. Um, he, he's Argentinian. He has a transfer value of about one million pounds. Obviously, they made demand more than this. We're not entirely sure yet, but only six hundred pound a week wages. He looks like a really good player for the future. Um, yeah, so Conman's another man that's been playing on the wings, and so um, hopefully he'll be a, he'll be a player that can play either left or right wing for you, depending on what sort of formation you're looking to set up. Okay, have you got any suggestions? Okay, yeah, them uh, them uh, signings seem absolutely acceptable to me. I mean, I'm sure that at the club, uh, you know pretty much what you're doing. I mean, I'm not here to dictate your jobs. If you if you've looked at these and you think they're acceptable, I'm more than happy to take another look at these, see how they'd fit in, and really take a look at their profiles. I've actually got a, a, another player in mind. If like, like I suggested earlier, if you want to discuss this now, we can do. Okay, so this player. Um, I've I've had on my radar for a number of months now. Um, it's actually a, a young, a younger player playing at Man United called Laird or Laird. Um, he, like we said, he we, if if you're looking to replace Pond, I have already noted that he's getting on a bit. Maybe we are looking to uh, offload him. I do think that uh, Laird is a is a very very fantastic player, not only because he can uh, replace 
replace Bond at centre back, but also because he's got the capabilities of playing out on the right of defence and also the left of defence, playing in them uh, wing back positions, which I think, especially at this level, squad depth and versatility is pretty key. You know, maybe we'll pick up a few injuries during the season, not that I want to, but also just having that versatility and fitness levels of a younger a younger player that can play across the whole of the back line, maybe maybe a very interesting position to go in. Uh, yeah, so he's, like I said, he's English, so he sort of fits that profile of young English, British talent. Um, I've currently got him down as an 185k transfer value with £185 weekly wage. Obviously, he may demand a little bit more than that. Man United may demand a little bit more than that. But I'm pretty sure with a few of the players that you want me to bring in, and, you know, if I do decide I want to sort of bring in this layered player, I'm sure we can accommodate for more than one. Okay, moving on. Uh, we also have a bit of a, a bit of a different sort of thing we want to discuss with you. We're we're looking to set up a form of youth academy to sign players that maybe are not on many many current teams' radars. You know, we're we're looking for you when you come in to hire a scout at a cost of no more than two hundred and fifty thousand pounds, and then set up a network at a cost of no more than a hundred thousand pounds. Um, I assume that's okay. We're we're looking. Specifically to sign a player capable of being world class or, you know, top top talent, a lot of potential in each of the area of the field. So one defender, one midfielder, one attacker, maybe, maybe not a goalkeeper. We'll have to wait and see, depending on what we find. But we want these being young, young talent. Hopefully coming through the ranks that we can, you know, really settle into our team and really, really form a loyalty with these players. And hopefully have them for years to come. So the only sort of um, issue we may have is the fact that we need you to play on Legendary. With a half length set to five minutes, so not the longest time in the world, to complete these matches. Uh, and again, on quite a high difficulty, especially at such a young, uh, such a low level of English football. Okay, so I'm more than happy to play on uh, Legendary with a half set to five minutes. I, I, don't, I think I'm more than capable into such a standard and last but not least your cost of contract we're looking at paying you 13,000 per week I assume that's going to be more than adequate that weekly wage is absolutely perfect I'm more than happy to accept that um, any any last words okay so if you'd like to assign this contract I've put it in front of you or tap your name along the dotted line Thank you ever so much. You now have my signature. I'm looking so I'm so much looking forward to working with you and working with you over the next few seasons. I'd like to formally welcome you as the 